Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are joining me for the first time, hi, welcome. My name is Christine and welcome to Hear My Shoe Story. And here in my channel, we talk a lot about fashion, beauty, and lots and lots of travel. So what are we gonna watch today? We're gonna watch creating this fabulous golden evening look. It's a super glam, it's a super luxurious Egyptian kind of look. I love this look. So um, I thought I'd recreate it and share that with you. So without much further ado, I want, it to, I want you to go enjoy it. Hi guys, so I've already prepped my face using my favorite skincare products and I've also done my base using my favorite foundation and concealers. Uh, details of these products will be given in the description box. And for this look, I'm using the Tarte Clay Play Palette and, and the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter. But first, I'm going to pat down the concealer which is from Fenty Beauty uh, using my favorite, favorite, favorite powder from Kiko Milano and pressing down the concealer that I've laid down. So for this look, I will be using the Tarte Clay Play Palette Volume 1 and first I'll be going in with the shade Terracotta just above my crease and blending it out. Now did you also know that this palette smells like chocolate? Like seriously, it does. Uh, now getting back, uh, taking another blending brush, I am going in, in the, into the shade Ember and putting that right into my crease and into the outer V. Okay, so getting back to the chocolate, yes, so this palette smells amazing like chocolate with the nude shades. Oh, it's just like you want to eat it up. Okay, coming back to the eyeshadow. <laughs> uh, so now I'm taking the shade Timber and then deepening the outer V of my eyes. I really like a deep outer V, so for this look, the uh, outer V has to be a little more darker, which we will do it in a bit. Now it's time to cut the crease. So for that I'm taking a flat brush and my concealer which is the Fenty Beauty taking a bit of the concealer on the tip of my brush and then very very confidently <laughs> drawing the cut crease. Now the star of the show, the Fenty Beauty Killer War Trophy Vive Highlighter which is one of my favorite highlighters. Now to apply this on my eyes, I'm using a flat brush and damping it up with the Lineage Hydrating Mist. You can also use a setting spray, whatever works for you. Now taking the damp brush, sweep it across the highlighter and then pat it along the cut creased area. It really does take a lot of product so go all in. And never forget to marvel at the sparkles. And now for some magic. Yay! You see what I did there? But wait, the eyeshadow is still not complete, so I'm going back to the clay play palette and taking the shade Onyx and deepening out the outer V. This is a dark brown, almost blackish shade, and it's super pigmented, so be very careful when you're going in. First, I'm just dotting it on the outer V and then blending that shade really, really well. And I also dip into the other previous crease shades and then really helping it to blend out. I further deepen up the outer crease and take that tonic shade right into my crease, sort of half crease and blend it all, all in. So 
now it's time to clean up and get that really sharp side wing and I'm using the concealer brush that I used previously to cut my crease and then just cleaning up the edges and giving it that sharpness it needs now for the under eye lash line I'm going in with the shade timber and singing it's going down I'm yelling timber and all of that because the shade is timber yeah and then blending it out and then I'm going back with the flat brush uh, which I use for the cut crease and then just lining the inner eye as well now let's finish up the rest of the face first step it's the Kiko Milano pressed matte powder let's bronze guys and for that I'm using the Fenty Beauty powder in the shade nutmeg let's bronze those cheekbones Now it's time for blusher and give your cheeks a little pinkness it needs. So for that I'm using the Marks Jacob blusher. Now it's time to snatch up your nose and for that I'm taking a blending brush and going back into my eyeshadow palette and taking the shade Journey and slowly contouring my nose. Now it's time for eyeliner and for that I'm using the Dior Addict It Liner which is amazing. Now once you're done with the eyeliner, let's go back into the Kilowatt highlighter and then shine up that inner corner. And using whatever's left off on the brush, I use that as a highlighter on the bridge of my nose and tip of my nose. Now it's time to highlight and I'm taking my highlighter brush, dipping it into my Sephora highlighter and then highlighting that cheekbone like it's nobody's business. Now it's time for lips and for that I'm using a creamy matte from Bare Minerals. This is an absolutely gorgeous shade. You can wear it and you can wear it like an everyday shade or evening wear. It's just amazing. It's just amazing. Now you are ready to bedazzle a few people that you see at the supermarket because that's where you're technically are to, allowed to go right now. So thank you so much for watching that video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and I really hope that you will recreate it as well. I had a fabulous time uh, you know, cre creating this look. It's a super glam, it's a super shiny, very evening kind of look. So um, yeah, if you recreate this look, make sure to tag me. I'm here my shoe story on Instagram. Um, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that little notification button, give this video a thumbs up and do comment below. Uh, what would you like to see next? Uh, what kind of video? What kind of uh, beauty looks do let me know in the comment section below and yes don't forget to follow me on instagram and uh, until next video i will see you bye guys